Hello everyone, Felix here. Today's tutorial app is showing you how to add a timer on your Google Form using Quilco. So the first, you have to find the Google Workspace Marketplace in the tab search, and then you can click on it. And you may search it in the search box for this apps. It is Quilco. And when you enter that, and you can see that apps will go timer and proctoring. You can install it, so you will add these extensions for your Google Form. You just click continue, and after that you have to sign in with your Gmail account. And after that, click next, and after that, just click done. When done. All you need to do is go back to your Google Form, find the Google as an icon, click Google Go, and click Configure. And that will pop up and it's telling you to connect it with Google Go by pasting in a token there. So you have to click the Google Go link there. And you will be directed to its page and you have to sign in using your Google account and there you go you can see the token there you can just click copy and you have to come back to the Google form and paste it in there in the box and after that just click connect yeah once it's connected there will be an important information you should read and understand and the next step you have to go to the Quilco page and there was something that you have to set up there. Yeah, it's in the public form link that you can get the link there and you share to your students. So you can use the registration to open self registrations there. So it will allow students to sign in first before they start doing the test. And for that default setting, you can set the timer durations. So for this one, I'll make it into 45 and also make it auto close from mental timer. The high timer and enable camera tracking is only in the premium plans. And also I will use the allow to view QS score after submission. When done, all you need to do, click the copy link and you may paste it in everywhere you want the students to click on it. So I will open the new tab and paste it in there click enter and now you have to sign in with your Google account and when done so you will see this page all information about the title of the Google form and also the duration that you have to do And when you're ready with that, you just click open the form and now you can see the timer is on your Google form. Okay, thank you very much. Please hit the like button and share. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and wait for the updates. Bye-bye.